What's going on everybody? Welcome back. Today we are going to be shooting the AR-15. America's rifle, as most of you know, probably the most popular rifle in the country for a lot of different reasons, one of them being self-defense. And because these rifles are so popular, there are a ton of options for ammo that you see in the 5.56 or 2.23 caliber. One of the most common is the M855, also known as the green tip. The green tip is a steel core bullet and it was developed to be a light armor piercing round. Now, just to be clear, all 5.56 will defeat soft body armor, but for heavier plates, armored vehicles, long range engagements and stuff like that is where the green tip really comes in handy. However, because this is such a common round and you see it in almost every gun shop, over the years I've ran into a lot of people that stockpile this stuff, which is awesome, but also use it and their home defense rifles. So today, we're gonna test the Green Tip 5.56 and see why it might not be the best choice for home defense. So the 5.56 or 2.23 is a very fast and lightweight bullet, but because it's a rifle, a lot of people automatically assume that it would overpenetrate more than, say, a handgun caliber, which is actually not the case. Because it's going so fast and it's such a tiny little bullet, on impact of a soft target, these calibers are designed to dump all or most of their energy immediately, destabilize, tumble, break apart, expand if it's a hollow point, etc. So they're typically a great choice for home defense because they're very effective, but they don't over penetrate like a slower, heavier bullet would. However, the green tip pretty much does the opposite of all of that. So if you're using an AR, this might be one of the worst rounds you could possibly use in a home defense rifle, depending on your living situation. I wanna give a quick disclaimer. I have never been in combat and I've never had to shoot anyone, thank God, but I've talked to a lot of people that have and I did stay at a Holiday Inn last night. So whereas most 5.56 will yaw or tumble and dump most of its energy into the first thing it hits, because Green Tip is designed to defeat hard barriers, when it hits a soft target, it doesn't do any of that. It essentially just pokes tiny little pinholes and keeps on going. So not only are you getting the worst terminal ballistics, you're also increasing your chances of over penetrating and hitting a family member, neighbor, innocent bystander, which is usually not a good thing. Unless you have terrible neighbors, in that case, Go green tip. I've even heard horror stories from combat where our military would use the M855 and they just could not understand why the bad guys weren't going down. They knew they were hitting them, but no one was incapacitated. And they found out later it's because the bullets were just zipping right through and not doing any real damage. Now that's not to say that these aren't great at certain things. Again, body armor, vehicles, shooting through walls, which is something you probably don't want in a home defense caliber. But either way, uh, that is a little explanation. Let's compare the M855 to some other 556 and see what the difference actually is. Well, it has been a while since I've shot green tips, so we're gonna shoot a few rounds, not at steel targets because it will definitely damage those, but just at the backstop here. I shoot 223 so often that when I go back to 556, it always surprises me how much louder it is. There's actually a pretty noticeable difference. And by the way, we have changed our Optics Planet discount code. So there's no longer a text. All you have to do is use the code one shot at checkout and you can get your discount that way. And now we have five rounds of XM193, just regular 5.56 ball ammo, but this stuff is also pretty powerful. That's quite the fireball. I hope you guys could see that. Now really quick, I wanna clarify, there is an upgraded version to this round called the M855A1 that our military is currently using, and apparently it's better in every way, which is why I'm being specific that today we're talking about the green tip, not the M855A1. All right, let's start shooting some stuff and see what this round can do. We have two honeydew melons sitting on the table down there. I'm gonna hit one of them with a the green tip and the other one with a regular 556 and see how they compare starting with the green tip. Now, I've never really tested this round, so it might just blow our minds and destroy all these targets. Let's find out. Not bad. Now,
Now, of course, honeydew melons are not the most scientific test in the world, but that is more damage than I expected. All right, next up, we have the XM193. I considered using a hollow point for this, which would probably be the most effective, but kind of unfair. So we're just gonna shoot a regular ball round with no steel core and see how it compares. I don't know. All right, let's do a mini watermelon test and see if there's a difference. We have the green tip on top and the XM193 underneath it. Starting off with some real scientific tests today. Man, that is impressive. <laughs> the M855 is destroying these melons, wow. And again, I realize watermelons don't really show you anything, but so far the green tip is definitely winning these tests. Well, I spent the first five minutes of this video lecturing you on all the things I've read about how bad the green tip is for self-defense. And so far, I've got egg on my face. So let's get off the watermelons and try a real scientific test. This is a 10% clear ballistics gel block, and this should show us penetration, expansion, wound cavity, all the things you look for in a self-defense round. So let's compare the green tip with some other 5.56 and see how well it stacks up. All right, first up on the ballistic shell test, we have the green tip. And honestly, at this point, I'm hoping this round fails miserably because that's the whole point of the video. <laughs> I'm kind of new to the ACOG, so hopefully I get my holdover right. And there's our wound cavity from the M855 green tip. Once again, not bad. It just keeps impressing me more than I thought it would. Of course, it did penetrate all the way through the gel block, which I expected. A 16 inch block is not gonna stop that steel core bullet. But just to be clear, that's not abnormal for a lot of 5.56s. It is a rifle round going very fast and sometimes they do pass all the way through. So let's try some others and see if they do the same thing. Next up, XM193. This is a non-steel core bullet and usually it's very impressive, but today it's kind of been letting me down. Let's see what it does. <laughs> the difference in concussion is dramatic, that's for sure. All right, so there is our wound cavity from the XM193. You can see the M855 looks like it yawed sooner and started doing damage in the gel a little bit earlier. And from the side, it also looks like a bigger wound cavity, but if you look at it from the top, which you probably can't see, the XM193 wound cavity is two to three times bigger at least, and from where it starts to where it ends is like eight inches long, whereas the M855 is just a little two or three inch spot. And you can also see that the XM193 definitely broke apart a lot more, and there are bullet fragments all throughout that wound cavity, whereas the green tip, for the most part, looks like it stayed intact and just passed right through the ballistics gel. So I would say the XM193 wins the ballistic shell test in terms of the size of the wound cavity and performance of the bullet. If we had something behind the gel block, I assume that we would see the green tip is also over penetrating more, but in one gel block, they both passed all the way through. And next up, we have the Black Hills 77 grain OTM, also known as the Mark 262 Mod 1. This is a hollow point, and in my opinion, a great round for home defense. So. Let's see what it does. <laughs> and 
and that one went in pretty close to the green tip it's kind of hard to see the entire wound cavity because they overlap a little bit but down here you can see how that bullet broke apart we did have one piece go all the way through the gel block but the majority of that bullet did stop in our ballistics gel which is probably what you want from a self-defense round. All right guys, well I am freezing so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this video up right here, but this is why we do the test. I'm not gonna lie, the green tip definitely impressed me in today's video. Uh, just to be clear, there are stories all over the internet of the green tip performing horribly in combat and having really bad terminal ballistics. So bad in fact that they felt the need to upgrade it to the M855A1, which is what they use now in the military. The steel core is designed to penetrate hard targets and not necessarily affect performance in soft targets, but from what I hear, it absolutely does and it does not provide good terminal ballistics. And ballistics gel, you know, is not the same as a human target. It doesn't tell the whole story, but as we saw, at least in ballistics gel, the green tip performs performed as good or better than some of the other 5.56s. And by the way, I did bring out a ballistic shell gummy bear and put it behind the ballistic shell block to see if the green tip would penetrate further than the others, but they just kept curving and going out the top. So it's kind of hard to capture rifle rounds in ballistic shell. So I did not include that in the video, but I did at least attempt it. So after seeing this video, would the green tip be my first choice for home defense? Absolutely not. It would probably still be one of my last choices just because it's a steel core bullet and that is going to cause an over penetration issue, especially through walls and houses and stuff like that. But the results don't lie and it was very impressive. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please let me know down in the comments below. As always, hit that like button for me, guys. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time.